Welcome to Johnson Coliseum in Huntsville, Texas. It's Southland Conference Volleyball on ESPN. Sam Houston State hosting McNeese State on this Thursday night. And welcome inside Johnson Coliseum. My name is Matt Peterson. A tale of two teams off to two different starts in the Southland Conference. Sam Houston State, its third straight year off to a good start. They're on their way to a very high seed in the conference tournaments. And now to our HEB No Player Does More Impact players, beginning with McNeese, it's Lexi Lambert, junior from McKinney. Her head coach, Ashley Fitzgerald, says she is one of the more consistent players. Won't wow you with her power, but moves the ball around the court well. She doesn't make many errors. Very clutch for McNeese this season. Meanwhile, for Sam Houston State, it's HEB. No player does more. Player to watch, it's Ashley Lewis. She has become the new leader in the eyes of head coach Brenda Gray. Second of the Southland Conference, 3.7 kills per set. And Gray says she's improved in all phases of the game. The only six rotation player for Coach Gray and the Bearcats this season. She's really enjoyed her new leadership role, the junior from Houston, Texas. Pre-game introductions happening now. The Bearcats smiling after a seven and one start. The head coaches exchange pleasantries. Ashley Fitzgerald, sixth year with McNeese. Brenda Gray, 36th season at the helm at Sam Houston State. Now the Bearcats in white, McNeese in blue. Sam Houston State, it's lone loss in the Southland Conference against rival Texas A&M Corpus Christi. They've played some close battles over the years. They lost in four last week in Corpus Christi, but they bounced back a sweep at UIW over the weekend. A lot of five set losses for McNeese. They'll try to bounce back here tonight. Morgan Yonda with the first serve. We're underway from Huntsville. Early swing from the left side. Macy Kerpeck uh, kept alive in the back. Angela McGowan for McNeese. And the first point goes to the Cowgirls. Most recently, McNeese swept by Lamar at home on Tuesday. Right side, Chossi, well up. Kilchrist. Trailer, the defensive specialist with the swing. Two nothing for McNeese. Lexi Lambert, our featured player to watch from McKinney, Texas. Good start for the visitors. And a service error. Keegan Nelms, the senior from Santa Fe, Texas. At Santa Fe High School. Here's Ashley Trailer. From Belleville, Texas. Swing from Kerpeck, kept alive. A touch at the net from the Bearcats. Honeycut, Chassi through the block. Up from Miller, good rally here in the first set. Excellent up from Miller. Blocked by the Cats, but still alive for McNeese. 
Another up from the Cats. McNeese will win the point. Excellent extra by Trailer, the defensive specialist with the dig. But the point ends, it's 3-1 for McNeese. Service from the libero, McGowan. Big swing from the right side. And Chassi, sophomore from Coppell, Texas. 10th in the Southland Conference, 2.9 kills per set. Far side, blocked by the Cats. They go to the middle this time, and that one's long. Uh, Johnny Hodges, the freshman from Fort Worth, long with her attempt from the middle. Addison Miller with the serve. No touch. Swinging error for Macy Kirpeck. Here comes Miller. 4-3 McNeese here in the first set. Excellent swing from the middle. A Johnny Hodges. Better angle that time after going long with her first attempt. Substitution for McNeese, Caitlin Chirac into the match. Kendall Kilchrist will depart. Nice swing from Lewis, her first swing here in the opening set. All off the block and a point for the Cowgirls. Lambert again. That was her sixth attack of this opening set. A good start for McNeese on the road at 6-3. Service ace, Caitlin Chirac, junior from Plano. It's one thing that Coach Fitzgerald emphasized to me. They're having a tough year, one in seven in the Southland. An opportunity to control what they can control, such as service, trying to be more of a Consistent service team and timeout for the Bearcats. And welcome back to Huntsville. 7-4 McNeese off to a good start. Now 15 attacks for McNeese. They're hitting 267. Sam Houston just one kill from nine attacks here in the first set. Another service from Caitlin Chirac. Chassis with a touch. And a point for the Cats. Kept alive on that far side at the pin by Reagan Stiawalt. Transfer from Wichita State. Madeline Miles now will serve for the Cats. Junior from Mont Bellevue, Texas. Good set across court. Heavy swing from Stiawalt. Back to Stiawalt, up from Trailer. Jumped on by Miller, her pass was too far. McNeese capitalizes. One at the net by Stiawalt. Service from Lambert. Lewis with a calm swing. Working on that left side here in the first set for McNeese. And there's a kill for Sam Houston State. Samantha Rogers, the freshman from Midlothian, Texas. Trailer departs. Lewis to serve. She leads the South End Conference. Conference only matches 4.1 kills per set. Angle swing, excellent that time. Keegan Nelms, the senior from Santa Fe, Texas. Miller tried her best to dig, but just too good from the angle. Now Johnny Hodges now, 
Six foot one freshman with the serve. From the back row, it's Lewis. At the net, excellent up that time from Steyerwaltz. Down the middle come the Cats. And it's too far to the left. Bearcats thought that was in, but it was outside on the near sideline. Swing came from Elise Smith. 10-6, McNeese in front here in the first set. Back to the middle for the Cats. Effective. Samantha Rogers with their second kill of this opening set. The right side blocked. Kyra Honeycutt, the middle sliding out to the left to make the block. Excellent from the sophomore transfer from South Alabama who wanted to get back to Texas. A lot of activity from Kendall. A Reagan Steyewal, to beg your pardon. She has had an active first half. Her sixth total attack there, her third kill. She goes to the bench, along with Caitlin Chirac. 11-8, McNeese in front in the opening set. Kilchrist with the serve. Just long, target in the far corner. Samantha Rogers once again, her fourth attack of this first set. 12-8, McNeese in front. A double too far across court for Madeline Miles. Easy call for the officials. Now Sam Houston State, number one in the Southland Conference, kills per set and assists per set. Service error from Kilchrist. Morgan Yon to the freshman from Katie returns. Miles back to the bench. 13 9 here in the first. From the right side. Angled swing and another kill for McNeese. Macy Kirpeck, her second kill in the first set. Kerpeck out of Nita, Texas, Altair Rice High School. McNeese sitting 292 here in set number one. From the middle, blocked by Honeycutt. Joust at the net and back across from the Bearcats, but it took four swings. Nice work on the joust for Macy Kirpak. 15 to nine, McNeese in front. Keegan Nelms, the senior, will serve. Chossi blocked. Two out there for McNeese. Lauren Burt, number one, Alexis Lambert. Number four combining for the team block. McNeese its largest lead at 16-9. And another ace. Two in this opening set for McNeese. Another timeout for the Bearcats. Keegan Nelms with the ace. Ashley Lewis had the opportunity, but it's been a dominant First half for McNeese on a 4 nothing scoring run. As we look at the Sam Houston bench, I spoke with longtime head coach Brenda Gray before the match, her 36th season in Huntsville. I asked how they're different this year without the reigning conference player of the year, Taylor Cunningham, who is now a graduate assistant. She said, we're running to 6-2 for the first time ever in her 36 seasons. 
Usually a 5-1 with one setter, now a 6-2 with two setters. Morgan Yonda and Madeline Miles, the two primary setters for Sam Houston State. But they're more pin-oriented, using the outside of the court at the right and left pin. Last year, Cunningham, an amazing six-rotation player, middle blocker, could score from anywhere on the court. But primarily a team that went down the middle. Now they're using the pins more and off to a 7-1 start in the Southland Conference. After the timeout, McNeese serving with an eight-point lead in the opening set. Too low on the swing from Lexi Lambert. Trailer returns. Catherine Krieger departs. A trailer will serve. Well, Sam Houston, one area they're not at their best. Aces per set, 13th in the Southland, less than one per set. Lewis. Well dug that time by Nelms. Excellent up by Trailer. Lewis again. Again blocked by McNeese. Another swing for Lewis. Nelms with a dig. And it goes for McNeese off the block. Bearcats have not got Lewis going so far. Eight total attacks, no kills for their best attacking player, Ashley Lewis. 18-10 McNeese, there's Lewis. Another swing, another dig for McNeese. Honeycutt, excellent defensive set here for McNeese. Blocked by the Cats from the 10-foot line. Lewis. Off the block, another point for McNeese. Lexi Lambert, her fifth kill of this opening set. She's hitting 364. Jump serve, dangerous, just a bit long. Had to not miss by much. Aggressive serving by Angela McGowan. McGowan, a senior from Loveland, Colorado. Addison Miller into serve for the Bearcats, down 19-11. On the left side, trailer. Too far in the pass to the net. Bearcats a little sloppy with that first pass here in the opening set. Trailer runs it down, over from Miller. Well blocked by the Cats, they turn away Lambert. Lambert again, up by Miller. Lewis had to adjust, a joust. Again one by McNeese, Lewis again. Her first kill. It took 13 swings for Lewis, the best attacking player for Sam Houston State, but now she's on the board. Miller to serve, 19-12, McNeese in front. Heavy swing from the right side from Kerpek. Trailer into the net, unforced error from Trailer. Substitutions. Chirac. Style wall back in. Service from Chirac. Another ace. Three service aces here in the opening set for McNeese. Now 13 kills to five for Sam Houston. McNeese decisive advantage in kills. Lewis, her second in a row. Maybe she's heating up here at the end of the first set. Madeline Miles returns, along with Samantha Rogers. Miles to serve. Six service aces this season. A double on the back set. No argument from the setter, Chirac. Some momentum building for the Bearcats, but will they have time to mount a comeback? Down seven here in set number one. Oh, 
Service error just too long for Miles. First service error of the set for the Bearcats. Lexi Lambert out of Boyd High School, a transfer from St. Francis. Up from Lewis, it's right back to her. Tough pass that time, wasn't that accurate for Miles. All Lewis could do was attack into the net. Serve from Lambert, into the net. That's four service errors for McNeese which has stayed aggressive from the service line. Trailer departs. Katherine Krieger enters for Sam Houston State. Lewis to serve. The leader on this team. And a service error. Set point for McNeese. 24-15, Hodges with the serve. Attacked from the 10-foot line by Krieger. Lewis kept it up. Back to Krieger. Good swing off the chest and a point for the Cats. Krieger, third most kills for Sam Houston State this year. Averaging two and a half kills per set. Sawyer Novak checks in, a freshman defensive specialist from College Station. After serving, she digs. Krieger angled swing. Lewis covers well. Shaky pass, kept alive. And into the net for McNeese, it's a point for the Cats. Look like Nelms into the net for McNeese. Bearcats survive another set point. Novak again for Sam Houston. Good serve. Kept alive by Fontenot. Big swing, could not get over a tough angle. It was behind Nelms. Trying to top spin to the back corner. Ashley Fitzgerald, sixth year head coach off the bench for McNeese to encourage her team. Novak with another serve. Down the middle for McNeese. Novak, a nice up. Krieger, big swing. Honeycutt denied. Lewis from deep. Angled swing and up from Miles. Krieger, lucky bounce for the Bearcats. Off the net and to the left side, 24-19. Third kill for Krieger. Excellent serving here from Novak. Off the arm and the opening set goes to McNeese. They win 25-19 here in the opener. A surprise start in Huntsville. McNeese takes set one. Sam Houston Memorial Fuel Home was established in September of 2003. Our partnership with the Small Business Development Center is just like our partnership with other vendors in our community. We developed a marketing plan, a strategic analysis, as well as social media presence. If you let them, they can take your dream, put it to paper. That's the way we got started, and 13 years later, we're very happy to be a part of this community. Welcome back, Huntsville, Texas. A surprising opening set as we look at Brenda Gray, Sam Houston State head coach, 36th year in charge. She told me today it's the first time ever. It's been an all-female staff, and a lot of stars, former Bearcats, including her daughter, volunteer assistant Taylor Gray, graduate assistant Taylor Cunningham. Cunningham was the Southland Conference Player of the Year last season, star middle blocker. Work to do, though, for the Cats. Back in play from McNeese and Kendall Kilchrist. Decisive victory in set number one for the Cowgirls. 
And they open up set number two as they started the match. Lauren Burt with the big swing from the middle. Six foot four out of League City, Texas. One nothing for the Cowgirls. Lexi Lambert, one of the stars of the opening set. Five kills on 14 total attacks. Only four attacking errors for McNeese in the first set victory. Nice touch that time. Well up by Krieger. Just in on the sideline. 2 nothing for McNeese. McNeese hitting 229. Bearcats at 095. Nine kills, five attacks, or a five attacking errors for the Cats. Krieger's been very active in the opening stages. She swings there, and it's kept alive by McNeese. Back to the middle. Excellent from Krieger. Some emotion after that kill. Catherine Krieger from Richmond, Texas. Swings some momentum back to the Bearcat bench. Now it's Ashley Trailer. Another kill. Keegan Nelms. Her third kill here in the early going. Very efficient for McNeese. Lewis denied again, kept alive by Miller. Angled swing and another kill. McNeese off to a great start. Kerpek again, her fifth kill. Chossi. Excellent defense for McNeese. Two kept it up. Lewis off the block. So much as she goes, so do the Bearcats, similar to Cunningham a year ago. Lewis is the only six rotation player this season for Brenda Gray. Lewis led the Cats with 16 kills on 39 swings Saturday in San Antonio, a sweep victory at UIW. Back to Lewis. Excellent dig by McGowan. Off the block and in, a point for the Cats. Dejanae Gilmore helping out. Freshman getting some playing time here in the second set. From down the road in Willis, Texas. Angled swing. Back to Lewis. Lewis a second chance. And then the block comes off. It was actually Chossie with those two swings. Classic, patient approach from the Bearcats. They don't beat themselves. They'll wait out the opposition. Chossie with the solo block there. Third block of the night for the Cats. They play quick and they get a point out of it. Different look that time for McNeese. Lauren Burt with the kill. Her third on six total swings. Chassi. Oh, nice work by Monique just to keep it alive. Back to Chassi off the net. Maybe rushed her swing just a little bit. Now feeding Chassi. It was recovered. Very impressively broke her foot in the summer, had a huge screw put into the foot as that serve is long. But they're just happy to get her back and she is gaining more and more fitness. Came out of the spring extremely fit, but a setback with a broken foot. Jump serve, Miles. 
Blocked again. Lewis got her hands to it. Off the block, another point for McNeese. They've tooled Sam Houston State quite a few times here in the first two sets. Lexi Lambert. Bearcats do go down the middle. Shades of Taylor Cunningham there going back to the center of the court. Samantha Rogers, her third kill. Lewis to serve, the only six rotation player for the Cats. A blocked again, but on the defensive side of the court. Another kill from Reagan Stiawalt. Third kill for Stiawalt. It's 8 6 McNeese. Back row attack from Lewis. And air her foot over the line. Madeline Miles as she made that set. A lot of coaching happening right now on the Bearcat sideline. Assistant Taylor Gray, Brenda Gray as well. Miss swing that time from Lewis. She is off here in the first two sets and the Bearcats call time. Brenda Gray talking with Madeline Miles and the Bearcats go to the bench. All smiles for McNeese. McNeese up a set and leading set number two in Huntsville. All smiles on the sideline for Ashley Fitzgerald. She was very frank when discussing her team this season. She said some of the biggest points this year, we just have not been clutch enough. A lot of leads in the fifth set as the Bearcats come out of the timeout with the point to make it 10-7. But if you look at the schedule for McNeese, they lost in five against HBU, lost in five against Central Arkansas. Lost in five at Nichols. Well, three five set losses for McNeese. Krieger loves a big swing. Joust one in the middle of the net. Dejanay Gilmore. Soft serve from Novak. Novak keeps it alive. Miles just off with the pass. Excellent effort from Rogers. The Bearcats are struggling to pass the ball here tonight. Miller returns for the Cats. Johnny Hodges, freshman middle blocker with the serve. Krieger, another kill. Team best sixth kill tonight. She's done it on 12 total attacks. Morgan Yonda to serve for Sam Houston. Chassi off the double block. Just long, good idea that time, but too heavy from Nelms. Bearcats buckling down here in the second. Yonda, a freshman from Katy. First pass from Fontenot. Good swing from the 10-foot line. Bearcats keep it alive. Look at that confidence from Krieger. Five feet off the net, a full swing. Good placement all night for McNeese. They get another point off the tip block. Coach Gray thought that was a double on the pass. Thought the double came from Chirac. Instead, it's a kill for Keegan Nelms. McNeese hitting 227. 
Kendall Kilchrist, the sophomore out of Richmond, Texas. Excellent up. That was just inches off the ground from Honeycutt. And then too long on the swing. All credit there to Madison Fontenot from Moss Bluff, Louisiana. Sam Houston High School. Her dig kept that point alive. Kilchrist to serve. McNeese up by three. Chassi into the block. Trailer returns, Krieger departs. Now Chassi, career high 20 kills against Louisiana Tech at the end of August. 10th in the Southland, nearly three kills per set, second highest on the Bearcats. Excellent up from the back row by Yonda. Joust, one by Lewis. Bearcats gaining momentum. How about that up from Morgan Yonda? In there for her setting, but doing it defensively. Vital touch with a dive to her right. Lewis covers, up from Yonda, over from Miller. Excellent touch that time, a deep dump. Good vision at the net. Was Kerpek dumping it to the back corner, which was unoccupied by Sam Houston. Lewis adjusted her angle. Off the block, up for Miller. Lewis. Down the line and a point for McNeese. I think everyone expected her to go angle. Instead, she went line. Kerpeck again. Seven kills on 20 total attacks for Kerpeck. Pancake kept alive. But the Bearcats get the point. Excellent defense from Nelms all night. Now Nelms has nine digs. Second most for McNeese. McNeese five more digs than Sam Houston State. Miller to serve. They go down the middle. Right at the back line and a point for McNeese. They play quick again. 16-13 Cowgirls. Trailer first pass. Chassi with the angled swing. Up from Miller. Lewis off the block. Burnt the last point for McNeese. Lewis responds. Her fifth kill after a slow start. Miles returns. Chassi and Yonda depart. 16-14 in the second. Another kill. Excellent vision that time. Lexi Lambert. Her seventh kill. Tied with Kerpeck for McNeese. McNeese hitting 253. First pass Miller. Flying through the air for that kill, Samantha Rogers. Good hops from her. Her fourth kill. Bears heating up, Bearcats heating up on offense. Much better attack here in set number two. Lewis, the sixth rotation player from the service line. Good serve, it's an ace. Indecision at the back for McNeese. It seemed as if McGowan thought Nelms would take it. Neither did. And the first service ace for Sam Houston State, they're within a point. She goes to the same spot. Off the block, another kill for Stiawall. She's been very efficient, four kills on just nine attacks. Soft serve off the net. Miller read it well. 
blocked. Celebrations from Hodges, the freshman middle blocker. Second block for McNeese. Good serve. Lewis with the first pass. Krieger. Miller gets it up. Krieger helps it on. Lewis in the back row. Back row attack. Off the block. Another point for McNeese. 2016 Cowgirls. And the Bearcats call time. McNeese beat Abilene Christian 3 0. Their only conference win at the H and HP complex. Beautiful new arena in Lake Charles. Coach Fitzgerald said it has helped with recruiting. She expects it to help even more in the future. Great facility for basketball and volleyball in Lake Charles. But a lot of youth on this team. Lambert, a junior. Bert, a sophomore. Shiraka, junior. Kerpek, a freshman. Hodges, the freshman middle. Uh, a few of the five set games gone their way that have a much different record. They've lost six straight since the home victory against Abilene Christian at the start of October. Coach Gray said they're a good team. I was hoping that they wouldn't show how good they are tonight, but so far they've done just that. 25-19 in the first, they lead by four here in the second. Krieger. Miller takes charge. Back to Krieger. A tool and a point for Sam Houston State. Krieger's been confident all night. She gets the most of, out of each swing. Seven kills to lead the Cats. Now it's Courtney Littlefield, junior from Tom Ball, Texas. Too much on that swing. It was Rogers on the angle. A few words of encouragement. And the senior libero, Addison Miller, after that swing. Service error from Hodges, now 21-18. Chaussee returns along with Yonda. Miles. And Chaussee both depart. Excellent up from Miller. A double that time. She tried the dump, but it was from a tough angle. Infraction from Katherine Krieger. Kendall Kilchris in to serve. It's 22-18 McNeese looking for the first two sets in Huntsville. Good serve up from Miller. Chassis with the swing. First pass Krieger. Chassis! Goes line for the kill. Only a touch down the line from Fontenot. Up by Krieger. Chassi off the block. Crucial block for McNeese. They're two points away from a two set lead. Keegan Elms, Lauren Burt combining on the block. Nelms, the senior, with the serve. Miller. Lewis. Good swing, excellent up by Nelms. She's been everywhere tonight. 
Lewis off the block. She's had to work for it. 29 total attacks to produce six kills. Miller. Sam Houston down three. Blocked. Littlefield making the most of her playing time with that block, combining with Chassi. Slight break. They bring the towel out to midcourt. Make sure it's a safe surface for the athletes. Miller again for Sam Houston State. First pass was long. It costs the Cowgirls. Bearcats within a point here in the second set. What a swing. Angle from the right side. It was Kerpek again. Freshman has been a star tonight. Eight kills, tied with Lambert for the McNeese lead, and now another set point for McNeese. They try for a two-set lead on the road. Up again by Nelms. It's two sets to none for McNeese. Lexi Lambert, her ninth kill of the night. And a upset brewing in Huntsville. McNeese just one conference win. Six straight losses coming in, but they have a two set to none lead as we head to intermission at Johnson Coliseum. As a boy, Lorenzo Baeza's playground was the streets. When his grandfather suffered a heart attack, one nurse's act of kindness changed his life. Today, he is the first in his family to graduate college, and he's not done yet. He's on his way to becoming a doctor, since 1879, we've been helping students like Lorenzo defy the odds. Sam Houston State University, a great name in education. And welcome back, Johnson Coliseum. Here's the upcoming schedule for McNeese. Home game against Texas A&M Corpus Christi on Halloween. Their next four at home, so an opportunity to make a bit of a run on the heels of a possible victory here tonight for Sam Houston State against Nichols on Saturday. Tough road trip at SFA, the longtime rival. SFA unbeaten in conference play this season after an unbeaten season last year. Abilene away, a big one on North against Northwestern State here at home. Northwestern State just one loss. That was against Sam Houston State. We'll have it for you in two weeks right here on ESPN+. Plus. And then Central Arkansas. But the Bearcats potentially wasting some of those road victories. If they lose this one tonight. Oh, Sam Houston State. Nine and one in their last 10 meetings with McNeese. Their lone loss against McNeese, October 3rd, 2015 here in Huntsville, a five set loss. Sam Houston State had not lost a set against McNeese in the last five meetings. Three set sweeps each of the last five matchups. The table's turning tonight for McNeese. Up two sets to none. We'll be back with the third set from Huntsville. I enjoy seeing kids, regardless of their age, see the light bulb go on and they have that aha moment. In 1997, I started Tomorrow's Promise, the Montessori School of Huntsville with three students. The Small Business Development Center helped me with classes on how to open a business. We also helped Kay market through social media, website analysis, and develop funding opportunities. We have grown to 38 teachers and over 220 students. It is Think 
paints tonight at Johnson Coliseum, the idea to empower students for greater awareness for stage four breast cancer. Pink across the court tonight, pink balloons, pink ribbons in many of the players' hair. And many in the crowd donning pink. McNeese, meanwhile, is thinking upset. Up two sets to none on the road. And as I mentioned during the intermission break, they had not won a set against Sam Houston State since 2015. The Bearcats coming in with five straight three set sweeps against McNeese. But a different team this year for Ashley Fitzgerald and McNeese. Clearly better than their one in seven conference record. Playing their best volleyball here tonight. Underway in the third set from Huntsville. Nelms blocked. Off the block and up from Miller. That swing from Kerpek. And the Bearcats finally grab a lead in set number one. And now they're saying it's out. The Bearcats celebrated. The initial call seemed to be in for the Cats, but they'll fall behind again. Third straight set. McNeese has grabbed the opening point. Off the block, it's 1-1. One, one. It was not a back and forth second set. One tie, no lead changes. The Bearcats never led. The opening set, two ties, two lead changes. It has mostly been McNeese in front from start to finish in the first two sets. Swing from the right side, Kerpek. Chassi for Sam Houston State. Her seventh kill. She and Krieger tied for the team lead. Aircats hitting 136 on the night. McNeese at 279. Just long. Not far off the mark from Lexi Lambert. McNeese hit 308 in the second set. Bearcats a bit of improvement, 152 after they hit under 100 in the opening set. Momentum building for Sam Houston State. It's their largest lead, up 4-1 here in set number three. Three-nothing scoring run for the Cats. Trailer set for another serve. Up from Trailer. Down the middle, four in a row for the Cats. It came from Honeycutt, the bingo player, as Coach Gray called her. Transfer from South Alabama. That's one that she highlighted. We'll get more on Honeycutt in a bit. 5-1 Bearcats in the third. Welcome back to Johnson Coliseum. Six straight points for the Bearcats. They just got another point from Trailer on the serve. She serves again. Oh, nice cover. That's team defense, Chassi sliding across the backside. Finally a side out for McNeese. 25-19 McNeese in the first. 25-22 Cowgirls won the second. Well, that side out ended a 6-0 scoring run for the Cats. Lewis tonight again has not gotten things going here tonight. What a swing that was. Nearly up from Miller, but a beautiful swing. Lexi Lambert, junior from McKinney, Texas. The first player to 10 kills tonight. Good knuckling jump serve from McGowan. Heavy swing and a point from that bingo player, Kyra Honeycutt. DeSoto, Texas, one year at Alabama. And South Alabama wanted to get back to Texas. Sophomore transfer, six foot middle blocker for Sam Houston State. Here's Miller, seven three cats. Well up from Miller, put it to a good spot as well. Good cover backside from McGowan. 
And then Eris Lewis growing in the game. She wins the joust. So instructions, Lewis won that. Our assistant coach Jessica Reber. Instruction for Kerpek, the six foot two freshman. Excellent up from trailer. Lewis with a touch. Covered by Lambert. Chossi. Lewis. They're feeding Lewis. And she's responding. She's up to seven kills. Miller, target in that back corner, good spot. A rare mistake that time. Kerpex had a good night. That one into the net, just her fourth attacking error. Much more clean volleyball here in the third set from Sam Houston State. They've benefited from the intermission. Another good serve from Miller. Trailer. Quick set. Just down on the far sideline. Initially, she thought it counted. Just too wide from Elise Smith. Elise Smith, one that has a lot of talent in the eyes of Coach Gray, but has struggled with injury. Had a nice run of health recently for Sam Houston State. Chassi. Our team best eighth kill tonight. She comes to the bench. Novak's been a service specialist tonight for Sam Houston State. Aircats in control in the third. No one got there, Trailer made the first pass. No one reacted in time. Another kill for Stiewalt. Stiewalt has made the most of her opportunities. Five kills and 11 total attacks for Stiewalt for McNeese. A double on the over. Krieger returns for Sam Houston State. Lewis to serve. McNeese with more digs, with more kills. Service error from Lewis. And Johnny Hodges with the serve. Krieger. Back row attack, Lewis. Up from Hodges. Good spot, she found it. Keegan Elms, the senior. Found an opening at the back line. All around game for Nelms, who has 10 digs. To go with six kills. Off the block for Elise Smith, a point for the Cats. Samantha Boatman checks in for the first time tonight. Kyra Honeycutt back in at middle. Off the block, a point for McNeese. Two more changes for McNeese. Kerpek sets a return. On McNeese to execute this swap first. Kilchrist in to serve. Ali Smith and Boatman depart for Sam Houston State. Miller, Krieger. Off the block, another kill for Krieger. She's been efficient. Eight kills for Krieger and 20 total attacks.
Yonda. Off the block. Good touch from McNeese. Chassi maintains the healthy lead for the Cats. Bearcats getting more and more efficient with their swings here in the third set. A kill from Burt for McNeese. Bearcats respond with Chassi. Nine kills, hitting 261 tonight. A 10th kill for Chassi. Bearcats hitting 389 here in the third. Make that 444, 10 kills on 18 swings. Oh, excellent block by Honeycutt. Lewis. Good swing from the left antenna. A touch from Trailer, but it was just too good from Lambert. 11 kills for Lambert. McNeese hanging around in the third. Good touch from Miller. Chassi. Honeycutt. It was in. The initial call was long, overruled. Fourth kill for Honeycutt. Another serve coming from Miller. Nice hands from Yonda. Chassi off the block. Coming routine for her here in the third. Expecting the block going off the block for a point. 11 kills for Chassi. Much better from the Bearcats here in the third set. 12 kills, just two errors, hitting 455 in the third. Meanwhile, McNeese, seven kills, five errors, hitting 087. Now Bearcats trying to mount a comeback. Lost the first set, 25-19. The second set, 25-22. Up 18 to 10 here in the third. They've led this third set for the duration. As Coach Gray told me before the game, playing a 6-2 system for the very first time in her 36 years in charge. Two setters instead of one. Oh, an opportunity to use two setters. And the duties split between Miles and Yonda this season, but Yonda's been the primary setter more recently this season. Now the Bearcats pick third in the preseason poll. One first place vote, Central Arkansas picked second. Defending champion SFA, the preseason number one. Back in play with Miller on the serve. Off the block and just wide. A point for McNeese. Stiawalt returns. Chirac with the serve. Chassi down the line. Didn't go off the block that time, went over the block. And she bounces back to the bench, bringing the energy here in the third. Brianne Chassi, 12 kills, hitting 333 tonight. Crafty up that time from Novak for Sam Houston State. 
No back up again. Lewis with the tip. Pancake. Excellent from a gown for McNeese. Lewis again. Was it touched? It was. Lewis up to eight kills. She's growing into this one after a very slow start. Novak, good serving all night. That knuckled its way 15 feet over the line. Excellent up from Miller. Bearcats want this third set. Dump picked up by Miller. Elise Smith getting involved now. Bearcats up 10 here in the third. Another impressive swing. It was Lambert, 13 kills. Beautiful dump. She sold it well, it was Yonda. And that's what Coach Gray told me. Says she's very smooth, quick out of her hands, quick with the dump that time. Unoccupied back part of the McNeese side of the nets. Lewis serves, 22-12, Katz. And the hammer thrown by Smith. She wasn't messing around. Sloppy first pass from McNeese. Smith on the slide. Up from Novak. Lewis from the back row. That's the Ashley Lewis we expect. Now the team leader in kills. Best in the Southland Conference. Conference play over 4.1 kills per set. But it's been a slow go tonight for Lewis now serving. Off the block and a point. It's Nelms again. She's had an outstanding game approaching a double-double. Eight kills to go with 11 blocks for Keegan Nelms. Hodges with the serve. Set point for the Cats. Krieger. Novak. Lewis. And the Bearcats take set three. 25-13 here in the third. Two sets to one, McNeese in front, back for the fourth set in Huntsville. Three, two, one. Ready for set number four in Huntsville, Texas. Matt Peterson with you. Surprising start to this one. McNeese, one conference win. They entered at one and seven. They won the first two, but Sam Houston State won the third, 25-13. Chassi off the block, her 13th kill. She was the star of that third set. And she comes out in the fourth to give Sam Houston a one nothing lead. Now Bearcats hit 5-31 in that third set. Nelms with the point. Trailer and Miller both converged on that one to try and dig it.
somehow over from McNeese. Honeycutt drops the hammer. Kyra Honeycutt out of DeSoto, Texas, transfer from South Alabama. Coach Ray called her a bingo player. Imagine that means you see her on the court, you say bingo. That's a talent to watch. Excellent addition for the Bearcats. Lewis, just excellent up from a tough angle from Nelms. But they'll give the point to the Cats. Now the referees will confer. Douglas Darling, Jordan Bennett, and Joe Lind are referees here tonight. They will replay this point after the referees confer. No real argument from either bench after that decision. Here's Miller to serve. 2-1 Cats in the fourth. Blocked by the Cats. Aggressive swing. Was there a tip? There was. Kerpek got the tip. And her ninth kill. Chassis off the block, 14 kills. Look like Chassis did not want to come out. She's six shy of her career high of 20 kills against Louisiana Tech. Trailer too long from the back row. Bearcats are now hitting better than McNeese. 248 to 236 after McNeese had a huge advantage after set number one and carried that into set number two. Well, the Bearcats hit 098 in the first set, 152 in the second. Nice shot from Trailer. She rolled it just past the 10 foot line. Confident swing after her last shot was too long. High five from her head coach as she jogs off. Lewis to serve, it's 4-3 Cats. Nice awareness, Yonda was first to react, tried to swing, nobody there to block it. Second kill for Morgan Yonda. Somehow up from Miller. It was a really good swing from Lambert. And the Bearcats have all the momentum now. Up 6-3 in the fourth. Getting a little bit of luck. That came off the hands of Miller into the net. Hung up there long enough for a teammate to keep it alive. Three-point scoring run for the Cats. Too long. She's been very clean with the swing tonight. But that time, Megan Stiawalt, native of Ness City, Kansas, just too long off the palm. from Lewis, Smith, Stiawalt 
off the block. Lewis from the back row. Excellent angle that time. She found the back corner. Lexi Lambert, her 14th kill on the night. She and Chassie, the co-leaders tonight. Excellent block. It was Stylewalt over there with help from Hodges. Perfect timing from Stylewalt. Lewis blocks, two straight blocks for the Cowgirls. At that time, a solo block. Effective from Lewis, had to get down for it. Helms off the block. And a point for the Cats. It found the back corner. Smith departs, on comes Samantha Boatman. Effective dump that time. And a point for the Cats. She has been growing in confidence tonight. Morgan Yonda. Seven Lakes High School in Katy. Lewis with the up. Novak, Krieger. Novak again tried it, and again it works. Yonda, two straight dumps. Amazingly efficient, five kills on seven swings for Yonda. And the Bearcats feeling it now. Timeout, McNeese. Bearcats stretch the lead to six as they celebrate in front of their bench. It's a three nothing scoring run for Brenda Gray's team. 12-6, Sam Houston State leading McNeese in the fourth set. McNeese took the first set, 25-19. Second set, they won 25-22. But the Cats dominated the third, 25-13. They've carried that into the fourth. Attacking error from a Johnny Hodges. The freshman couldn't get over it. Honeycutt, blocked, joust. Lewis dumps it, good spot. Stylewalt, Bearcats getting to everything. That was Boatman who kept it alive. Five in a row for the Cats. Everything working right now for Sam Houston State. And that's what the coaches will tell you about Brenda Gray's team, they're scrappy, they'll fight. They don't give up on points. They will wear you down. And one point of emphasis for Ashley Fitzgerald and McNeese was to not get frustrated if the points go long. Nelms, excellent angled swing, it was touched. She's up to 10 kills. Second McNeese player in double figures along with Lexi Lambert. Much needed kill. McNeese hitting 
.050 here in the fourth. Blocked by the Cats, Honeycutt got to it. Yonda, Miller, Krieger, too long. She celebrated, she thought it was tipped. Service error. Mistake from Hodges. Seven service errors tonight now for McNeese. Yonda with the jump serve. 15 8 cats in the fourth. Good hands from Miller. Yonda, Lewis. Too long from the 10 foot line. Bearcats will say it was tipped. No tip. It's been two years since the Bearcats last came back from 0-2 down to win a match in five sets. October 12th, 2017 against HBU. Was it tipped? It was. Macy Kirpek. Bearcats trying to do that two years later. Tonight against McNeese. Never came off there for the Cats. Yonda tried to punch it across to Chassi and a timeout for the Cats. Brenda Gray wants to talk things over with the Bearcats up four here in the fourth. If you look back at the five set matches for McNeese, they've lost all three in conference play. They lost against HBU just a couple weeks ago. They lost the first set, won the second set, 28-16, lost the third, won the fourth, 29-27, but then lost the fifth. So that was a back and forth match. Against Central Arkansas, another five-set loss for McNeese. They lost the first one, the second. Lost the third, 25-23. Won the fourth by the same score, and then lost the fifth, 16-14. A very close five-set losses. Similarly, back in September, a brutal five-set loss for McNeese. They lost the first, 26-24. Won the second, lost the third. Won the fourth, 25-23, and then lost the fifth set, 22-20. to They want to win this one in four and avoid the fifth set. They have not been able to close it out in conference play this year. Excellent block. Burt got up for McNeese to deny Krieger. Six blocks for McNeese. McNeese back within three. Another block. It's Burt. Nelms helped with the last one. That was a solo block from Burt. Denying Honeycutt. Burn up to three blocks tonight. Excellent serve from Kilchrist. Kilchrist sets. Dump from Yonda. No communication there from McNeese. Everyone waiting for it. Nelms, the senior, was closest. A gift of a point for the Cats. Trailer returns. Krieger departs. Krieger sits down next to Taylor Cunningham, the graduate assistant and reigning Southland Conference player there to talk things over. They came off the block. It's a point for McNeese. It's back to a two-point game.
Chassi. Up by McNeese after a Sam Houston block. Lewis. Another dig from McGowan. She's been excellent tonight. Blocked by the Cats. Chassi and Honeycutt combining. Miller to serve. Three point lead for the Cats. Their eighth block. Smith rejected, but off the chest of Miller to stay alive. And then Chassie into the net. Just the fourth error tonight on Chassie on her 33rd swing. She's hitting over 330. Served by McGowan. She leads everyone with 20 digs tonight. Trailer let it go, it's in. McNeese hanging around. Chasse, what a swing from the southpaw. Brianne Chasse. Her 15th kill on 33 swings. Two point lead for the Cats. Up from Trailer. Miller, Trailer, try to find the soft spot. Kerpek, Lewis off the block. Another dump from Yonda and effective again. She's got seven kills tonight on nine swings. Most look like that from the setter. The back of the court was wide open for Yonda. Blocked, Yonda got up there. Celebrations for McNeese, they're back within two. Yonda had help on that block from Smith, but it was kept alive by McNeese. Dia Walt returns for the Cowgirls. Caitlin Chirac, Jr. from Plano to serve. Smith, good touch. Pancake up from Nelms. Lewis, blocked. How about that? They've had her number most of this night. It was Dia Walt with Hodges. McNeese, down a point, they have the serve. Chirac, excellent serve. Good first pass from Miller. Another dump, it's Yonda. Her eighth kill. Well, she's doubled her season high and career high as a freshman. Previously, most kills was four against Mississippi State back in September. Eight kills on 10 attacks for Yonda. Now a nice reaction, quick swing from Hodges after the initial block from the Cats. Neck and neck here in the fourth. 2019, Sam Houston leading. Lambert with the serve. Krieger with the touch. Excellent tip that time. She swung so hard all night, I think McNeese expected Another big swing, that time she went finesse. Ten kills on 28 swings for Krieger. Two point lead for the Cats. Nelms from the angle, beautiful swing. Keegan Nelms, her 11th kill. Big serve coming for Hodges. Too much on that one. She's been aggressive all night. Well, 
critical time for a service error, the eighth of the night for McNeese. Morgan Yonda. Blocked, Honeycutt all alone in the middle. Timing didn't seem to be there for Bird, who may have jumped a little too early. Three-point lead for the Cats. Yonda with the serve. Nelms. Another angled swing. And another kill for Keegan Nelms. 12 kills, only two errors for Nelms. Kill Chris to serve for McNeese. Two-point game. Miller, Yonda, Krieger off the block. Two important kills for Krieger late in this fourth set. Krieger, the freshman from Foster High School, Richmond, Texas. Trailer serving on set point in the fourth. Honeycutt ends the set. I beg your pardon. McNeese takes the point. Nearly there for Sam Houston. 24-22. Keegan Nelms with the serve. Lewis, roll shot. Trailer, heavy first pass. Chassi, this time it's over in the fourth. 16 kills for Chassi, a decisive fifth set when we come back. The proud son of hardworking immigrant parents, Eric Rodas chose to serve his country. A father, a soldier, and now a college graduate. He proved that circumstances have nothing to do with your outcome. Since 1879, we've been helping students like Eric determine their future. Sam Houston State University, a great name in education. Ashley Fitzgerald, sixth year head coach, trying to lead her team to a road victory. They led two sets to none going into the intermission, but the Bearcats have won the third and fourth sets. Sets it up for an all or nothing fifth set. The Bearcats have been pretty good in these this season. 2-0 in five set matches. Oh, McNeese is one in three. They beat Elon in five, winning the fifth set 15-17, but they've lost their last three five set matches each in conference, each of those in really tough fashion. 16-14 at Central Arkansas, October 8th. The fifth set went 22 to 20 at Nichols at the end of September. And as we mentioned, it's been two years since the Bearcats have come down from an 0-2 deficit to win a set to win a match. It was against HBU here in Huntsville, October 12, 2017. The Bearcats were down 0-2. They won in five. Last set had three ties, no lead changes. The match overall has had seven ties, just three lead changes. Whoever's grabbed the early momentum in the set has gone on to win it in each of the four sets. In play in the fifth, Chassi. 
No tip. McNeese grabs the lead in the fifth. McNeese grabbed the lead in the first and the second. They won those sets. Sam Houston grabbed the lead in the third and fourth. Bearcats won those sets. Service from Nels. Chassis, quick swing. She's up to 17 kills. Three shy of her career high of 20. Set against Louisiana Tech at the end of August. Trailer. Up from Trailer. Another dump attempted by Yonda. Very difficult swing that time from a tough angle. It was never going to happen for Kerpek. You can see it a few different ways as the Bearcats' defense improved or as McNeese just slowed down their offensive hitting. Tip from Chassie, 18 kills. McNeese hit 222 in the first, 325 in the second, 161 in the third, 146 in the fourth. Haven't sustained their offense from the first two sets, both victories. Lewis, just a bit long. Just a shade off tonight for Lewis, her seventh attacking error to go with 11 kills. Three, two cats. Here in the fifth, it's the first to 15 in this set. Lewis. Honeycutt capitalized on a heavy first pass from Nelms. Seven kills for Kyra Honeycutt. Blocked by the Cats. Chassis and Elise Smith combining. 10 blocks for Sam Houston State. On the Bearcats, the inverse of McNeese. Sam Houston hit 098 in the first set, a loss. 152 in the second, a loss. And then the offense came to life beginning in the third. Up from Yonda, Chassis to Lewis blocked, and a point finally for McNeese. Now the Bearcats hit 531 as they won the third decisively. 190 in the fourth. Not great, but enough to win 25-22 last set. Service error. From Chirac. An ace for the Cats, which follows the service error. That's a big swing for Sam Houston State. A two point lead jumps to four. McNeese calls time. Bearcats up four in the fifth set. Welcome back, Johnson Coliseum in Huntsville. Matt Peterson with you, a thriller here. McNeese won the first two sets. Sam Houston won the third and fourth. They lead by four points here in the fifth. Nelms, big swing from the 10-foot line, up from trailer. Lewis gives it back. Nelms, roll shot. Miller takes charge. Lewis off the block. Sam Houston thought there was a double in there. Lewis again off the block, and that time her 12th kill. Hasn't been easy for Lewis tonight. They'll switch sides at 8-3. It's taken 57 attacks for Lewis to accumulate her 12 kills, but her team up five in the fifth. This will be a tough one for McNeese, should they lose it. It'll be a fourth match in the Southland Conference in which they've lost in five sets. They'd be 0-4 in those matches. 
Off the net and in for Sam Houston. Service from Novak. A point back for McNeese. Now they're one and eight in conference. That would make it four of their nine conference defeats coming in five sets. Nelms off the net, up from Miller. Two in a row for McNeese. This would be the first of those that they had a two set to none lead in. All the more heartbreaking when you can't close out a two set to none lead. Dump from Yonda. What a swing from Nelms. How about that confidence? And the Bearcats call time. Three straight points for McNeese. That was Keegan Nelms, the senior, who now has a double-double. 13 kills, just two errors. Make that 14 kills. She's hitting 308. She has 15 digs, plus two blocks, an all-around game for Keegan Nelms, the senior from Santa Fe High School. There's the McNeese bench. Jessica Raber and Lindsay Petzold assist Ashley Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald, a graduate of Ole Miss. An all-female coaching staff for Brenda Gray. And as she told me, it's her 36th year. It's the first time she's had an all-female staff. Also the first time she's run a 6-2 offensive system with two setters. But it's Taylor Cunningham, Taylor Gray, the assistant coaches. Just a bit long. McNeese within a point. After the timeout, it's a 4 nothing scoring run. Three before the timeout, one after. Lewis with another error. Her swing was too long. Not the easiest time to tie your shoe. The dilemma for Caitlin Chirac out of Plano West High School. She's all smiles. Service from Lambert. Lewis. Nelms, another kill. 15 for Nelms. Five straight points for McNeese. Looked like the Bearcats were in control up eight to three. Novak, heavy first pass, dumped by Yonda. Nelms again. Lewis, Yonda, trailer tries the roll shot. Up from Trailer, excellent dig, and then a block. A point for McNeese, it's their first lead of the fifth set. Hodges with the block. 9-8 McNeese, first to 15. Lewis blocked again. They turned away Lewis time and time again in the fifth. She entered tonight, most kills per set in Southland Conference play, over 4.1 kills per set. Southland Conference Offensive Player of the Week after week one. A team leader, 866 total attacks. A credit to Ashley Fitzgerald and her team have not given up on the season at one and eight in the Southland. Wants her team to be more consistent, less unforced errors. Want to be better with the serve. A lead 10 8. Sam Houston beat McNeese first round of the 
South End Conference Volleyball Tournament last year. Madeline Miles checks in for Sam Houston State. He's out there with Sam Rogers. Service error too long. Critical point there for the Bearcats. It's 10-9. That ended a 7-0 scoring run for McNeese. Lambert with the service error. Blocked by the Cats. Another block, but it's a point for McNeese. Celebrations for Reagan Stiawalt. Her seventh kill. 11-9 McNeese. They're four points away for their first win against Sam Houston State in four years. It's an ace for Hodges. Miller couldn't control it. Deep in her own end. First pass, Lewis. Miller. Krieger, big swing. How confident is that from the 10-foot line? The freshman, Krieger. He'll swing hard from anywhere. There are two straight points for McNeese. Vital kill for Krieger, her 11th. Boatman to serve. Floats it to the back row. Nelms blocks! But a point for McNeese, it came off the block. They're two points away. Boatman and Smith depart. Honeycutt returns for Sam Houston State. Kendall Kilchrist with the serve. It's an ace. Krieger went for it, as did Lewis. Vital ace for McNeese. Their fifth of the night. It is match point for McNeese in Huntsville. Kilchrist. Lewis. Miles, Krieger blocked. McNeese has won it. No, they have it. The celebrations have ended for McNeese. The referees overturn it. It's a point for the Bearcats. Now McNeese much emotionally reset after that. 14-11, Morgan Yonda, the freshman to serve. A block, Honeycutt stayed up there. It was off the fingertips of Kerpak. Another life for Sam Houston State. Jump serve Yonda, heavy first pass, joust. Nelms, and that's it for McNeese. It rolled off the top of the net to a spot. Sam Houston wasn't defending. Keegan Nelms, a team best 17th kill, ends it for McNeese. Oh, McNeese, their first five set victory in conference play this year. The Bearcats, first time all season they've lost in five after taking their first two. Uh, Sam Houston State dealt just its second Conference loss this season for McNeese. It's a second conference victory. I'm Matt Peterson saying so long from Huntsville. Where McNeese wins it in five. They win the first, the second, and the fifth. 
All games airing on the ESPN networks are streaming live and archived on the ESPN app. This has been a presentation of ESPN.